right, this one is for uh, J.S. Fugel. Um, if I murdered, I'm murdered that name, so I'm sorry. Um, but uh, you're basically saying that this is a skin paint practice. And so looking at this, the, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that, um, you know, I'm not going to comment too much on the, the, the drawing itself. I think the eyes are a little bit low. Um, I would, uh, looking at your reference, the eyes are a little bit low. There's a little bit more detail on the elbows and things like that that I would kind of put in there. But what I am going to comment on is, uh, and, and it's common practice, everyone kind of does it, um, you're using kind of a soft brush, and then what happens is you get a kind of muddy feeling, um, and especially in, you know, um, especially in areas like this, you know, you see that real deep, deep brown, and that just kind of gives you that muddy feeling. And so those are things that you really, really want to kind of pay attention to and fix. And that I think the, that's what's going to help you out a little bit more. Okay, so um, it's okay that you put this as a, a, an initial brush, but the, the problem with using photos as reference is we don't see the, the subtle tones. Um, you know, you don't see the, the reds in the cheeks as much as you would in real life, or you don't see the blues in the shadows. And so when you're going here, you're, you're at straight black. And so that, that kind of causes an issue with a lot of uh, your, your information here. And so to fix that, instead of going straight black, and, and I always uh, try and stay away from solid blacks, go about 10% and go with more of a solidified blue. And if I would just go in here and just adding, and I'm using a, a st standard chalk brush here, um, and I'm just adding these these kind of darks in there, real subtle, nothing nothing fancy, um, and I'm just adding these subtle blues in there, and that those blues are really going to help you sell that shadow tone, and it's going to give you kind of a, a warmer. Uh, it's going to accent the the reds that you have in the highlights, and so like I said, I'm just kind of really quickly painting this in here um, nothing nothing major just kind of putting that aspect in there and you can see with these subtle blues and I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second here but with these subtle blues it's breaking up that solid muddy brown and it's giving you a core shadow that that's really what you're looking for in the end is is that core shadow so those these these blues here are really pushing that aspect. Now what I can do is I'm just gonna go into filter blur um, and then I'm just doing this as a quick quick blur to kind of lessen that effect and then what I can do is I can add a multiply in there um, and that'll actually help out a little bit. I'm just gonna So I'm just kind of I'm just kind of getting rid of that, but those those subtle blues in there are really going to help sell and get rid of that muddy feeling that you've got. Um, and you know you can go, you know they don't have to be very subtle; like they can be lowered down, things like that. That's going to really help you out uh, in the first aspect of of your skin studies. The second aspect is the reflected light. All right, and the reflected lights are actually a red. Um, usually, I I kind of do it either on a screen or a overlay. Um, but what those are going to be are those are going to be your real bright reflective tones. And so what those are, let me go even brighter. And you can see. And again, I'm just doing real quick here. Um, what that is, is that that's the light bouncing from skin to skin because skin is subsurface. And so you get, tend to get a little bit more of these highlights going on in here. And again, I'm just going to quickly Gaussian blur it, um, just to give you the, the, the base concept, but that's going to really help pop 
pop the the core shadows and the highlights especially in the skin out a little bit more than what you've got going on so that's those are the first aspects of what you want to do um, and I'm just going to merge layer um, and so by adding that in that those those highlights are going to really bounce and you would probably do it a little bit more in maybe you know the the chin um, you know up here would probably pop that up a little bit you know things like that and that's going to really help sell your the the skin feeling the other thing is texture um, looking at looking at her the way she is now what I would do is I would just simply go and I've got uh, some skin brushes one of them is really nice uh, you know and you just pick them up over over time here but uh, skin okay so one of the skin brushes is just kind of a uh, let me pick a dark color here and that's all it is it's just a random rotating brush like that it's nothing um, it's all based on pressure sensitivity and, and so getting things like that and so then shrinking this to fit the scale um, you can actually just kind of add a little bit of your your highlight tones here in the highlight area and that breaks up that really mo uh, monotonous airbrushed look and you can see here how I'm, I'm just doing it little in little spots you know especially where your core shadows are you know grab some of your core shadow and put them in there grab some of your um, and and it doesn't have to be very I'm not using very much pressure I'm just it's a subtle uh, a subtle uh, gradation if you will and that's really going to help sell your work uh, in, in a, as far as skin goes um, and it doesn't take much to get it in there I'm just going to grab some of this highlight and bring that in there um, and that'll actually you know give you the illusion of hair that'll give you the illusion of you know your highlights um, and that type of thing and then the next skin brush that I would use is actually something a lot bigger uh, and actually it's more a uh, more or less just something like this and what you can do is you know add a little bit of wrinkles in there with this color um, you know around the around different areas um, and then the next thing I would do is I'm just gonna go back to my base chalk brush here um, the next thing I would do is just the randomization of different you know different pieces you know freckles um, I'm just kind of Kind of adding some of that in there and you see how it's not a whole lot but it adds it adds a little bit of of more imperfection into the skin and thus it gives you that aspect and I would probably cover this guy up here something like that but you see it's it's subtle to, subtle changes but doing those little things are going to really help sell your your piece as a whole and it's, it's going to relate to skin more than just the kind of that flat airbrush tone all right i hope that helps